Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is episode 123 in the Throwback Thursday series I'm doing using old makeup. Not okie old, just not talked about old. And today's palette of choice is the Unearthly Get Groovy palette. This was their big mystery box last summer and I just have not used it much. It's a rainbow palette with shimmers and mattes. And I really, like when I look at it, I feel like you're pretty much just going to whack on a matte and a shimmer and call it a day. So part of me wants to like fight that urge and part of me wants to embrace it because I don't do too many two eyeshadow looks and done. So I think I might stick with the two and maybe use different shades on the lower lash line. I don't know. We'll figure it out as I go. Uh, hopefully you're into this. And if you are and you're not subscribed, you totally should. All right, let's go. I'm going to take my gently used and brushed off Refer 15. And I think I want to use this matte purple called Radical and this, I think it's a duochrome shimmer called Funky. That feels like it'll be fun and different still with the two uh, shades, but maybe a little bit more fun. So I'm going to use, oh, that's okay. Whew. Take it easy. <laughs> I'm going to blend this through my crease area again. I always say this, but I have super hooded eyes. So I put everything up higher than someone who doesn't have hooded eyes. Because if I put it in my crease, you would never see it again because of the hood. So everything goes up higher. My shimmers go up higher. My mattes go up higher. Everything. Plus, you know, age and gravity. Mm, <laughs> a thing, or a thing. So, you know, combating that with makeup that is placed a little higher gives the illusion of less sagging. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm just building up the purple out here. hate a weed whacker. That kind of inconsistent, like, ugh, it just drives me buggy. Just leave it going. I don't understand why they are like that. It's very strange to me. <laughs> but of course, it is lawn care day, and I forgot. So that's mm, partly my bad. All right, that's not done, done, but I want to put on the shimmer, the orange shimmer. I may have to use the purple shimmer to blend it into the purple matte, but let's go in with Funky on my dry Refer 21 for starters. I really like orange and purple together. That's cute, but <laughs> Sh oof. shocker, I am definitely going to wet it. So, wet my brush, getting some eyeshadow on it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. A wet shimmer just gives you more bang for your buck. I really like it over that purple, too. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this goes. If I need to use the purple shimmer, I think that will be fine just to blend it into the purple matte on the outside. We'll see. I'm just going to go with a little bit more. 
And same situation, taking the shimmer shade up higher than I would if my eyes weren't hooded. So you can still see it when I look straight ahead. That's very cute. Okay, so I won't have to use, but I have to. I certainly can, don't have to, whatever. But I think I'll just use the purple matte in this orange shimmer for the blend, and that should be absolutely fine. I really like that. It's super simple, but fun and colorful. I'm actually gonna go in with a more condensed brush. This is the BK Beauty 207. It's like a giant pencil brush. And just going to boop over the edge of the matte purple and the orange shimmer. I'll go back and forth with the shimmer and the matte until it looks nice and blended. This is so fun. I'm really glad I decided to do this. I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but I'm pretty excited about it. All right, I'm just going to finish blending this out, do my other eye, and I'll come back and shave the finished look, and that'll be that. Wicked painless today. All right, I am back and the look is done. How about I scoot you in for an up close reconnoida? I used the same matte purple called Radical on the outer portion of my lower lash line. And then I used the matte orange called Groovy on the inner portion, and then it just made sense to use the shade Fox, which is this one right here, as my highlight. And that's the look done and dusted. I used the same Fox shade on my inner corner, all the highlight spots that I normally do. Um, and that is it. I really like the look. The quality of this palette is good. It's unearthly. It's going to be good. I just, I think maybe the color story throws me. So I don't reach for it that often because I see two shade looks, but I think I'm going to challenge myself to use it and not do just two shades. Maybe do something. I was thinking sunset -y which I guess this kind of sort of is, but I've done that recently without realizing it. So I didn't want to do it again. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll use this glue in a Blue Monday look. That could work. So I don't know, we'll see. But that is episode 123, done and dusted. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.